Hey, what's up guys? The Body Beat Dad here, Michael. Today is a bad day. I've already done two separate movements already, and I've already done two little clips uh, for them. But I wanted to kind of go into a little bit more detail in this video. I just want to interrupt the video real quick. I'm not sure that I came up with this little bit of uh, tweak to these movements. I think, and, I, and I'm good about giving uh, props where props are due, I think I might have seen this on a Michael Hearn video a couple of days back. I think I seen him doing uh, some dumbbell rows and they were stretching out farther. So I think that might have played a part in my brain, but also I might have forgot about it and I just kind of thought about, you know, hey, did I invent this? But not invent, but you know, uh, you know, did I just kind of come up with something a little bit different for myself? But I may have had that in the back of my mind from that Michael, uh, Mike O'Hearn video. So I want to make sure I get props uh, where they're due. I don't want anybody to think I'm uh, trying to steal someone's thunder or invent the wheel here, reinvent the wheel. So uh, back to the video. And uh, we're going to do these lightweight because... Uh, this little tweak that I'm going to do to the bent barbell row, uh, it, it might put your back at a little bit more risk, okay? And if you're like me with a severely bad, horrible back, it's iffy. Now, the set that I did, I only had uh, 70 pounds on the bar. The bar is 34 pounds, and that put me up at 5,544 pounds, or 104, something like that. So I'm just going to do a demonstration without the plates on it right now. Now, a typical row, a typical barbell row, now there's a couple of variations, and I'm doing the uh, overhand grip. You just kind of bend, you know, get yourself nice and steady, and you keep the bar close to your body, like so. That's pretty much basic standard. This one that I did, I let the bar go out and I come back in and I went out with it and I come back in and I went out with it and I came back in. See how I'm kind of swinging it? I'm getting a stretch, a little bit different stretch on the lats. Now, again, I recommend that you go lightweight when you do that if you try it even just through the bar. And whenever I came in here to work out today, I wasn't sure what I was going to do, and I thought, well, I'm going to do some rows, of course. What can I do to make them a little bit different? And that just kind of come to my head. Just kind of swing it out a little bit and see what happens. Now, also on the dumbbells, I did one arm dumbbell rows, and I took the same approach. I set them on these uh, little uprights here on this rack, and I grabbed my bar, I'm getting back. And a typical dumbbell row, typically, most people are going to go from about here to here and here to here. And that's perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with that. But to kind of tweak it just a little bit and give you maybe a little different feel and to make the, the movement feel kind of new again, we're going to go out with the dumbbell. And uh, that's one good thing about having that little upright right there where I can set the dumbbell it kind of gives me a visual reference of where I want that dumbbell to go. So we're keeping pretty much the same stance. We're going to grab the dumbbell. We're going to come back and just get a nice squeeze in the lats as good as you can. And when you go out, you're going to let the lat pull. Let that lat pull and then come back up. And then let that lat pull and then come back up. And that little bit of extra pull is stretching that lat out just a little bit. If you let it, I should have used a lighter dumbbell to demonstrate. And you can also, while you're doing that, you can have your body this way a little bit or tweak it this way or, or make your arm come up here a little more. Or, and and, and it, hits the, it hits it just a little different every time you kind of do a little slight adjustment. So it's just something that kind of went across my mind today that I'm kind of tired of doing the same old, same old, same. I thought, how can I tweak it just a little bit? So I kind of was thought, let them swing out a little bit, just like I do on the cables. And that's kind of what come to mind 
while I was doing this. I thought, well, when I'm doing my high cables or low cable pulleys, and I'm always, and I'm talking to you about how I like getting that stretch with those cables, because it really stretches out your lats. I thought, well, let's do the same with these. And so getting them out there and coming back is kind of the equivalent of doing that with my cables. So I thought that was kind of interesting. I thought I would share that with you. And uh, hey, if you like it, uh, hey, maybe give me a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe to the channel if you'd like. Uh, put in the comments if you maybe tried these variations like that or, or what. And uh, again, if you try them, go light because it is quite a bit different uh, on the back, mostly with the barbell. Dumbbells are pretty close to the same, but you are going to be coming out a little bit. And uh, try, to, try to mimic each side to be as close to the same as you can. I know it's kind of hard because we favor like one side or the other, and it always does something a little different. But that's one thing I was really trying to focus on when I was doing the dumbbells. I was like, okay, I was turning like this, and I was sitting like this, and I had my feet this far back, and I was, I was really trying to make sure I hit them both as close to the same as I could. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the little video. Uh, if you do, please like, share, subscribe, comment, all the good stuff to the Body Beatdown. That's me, Michael, your amazing host. And uh, get up, get out, get red, do it till we'll see you next time on the Body Beatdown. Get up, get out, get red, and do it, do it!